guys, it's me, Danny, back with another hilariously spooky video. And I say spooky because today we're going to be talking about a genre of YouTube that I've just discovered where people pretend to be haunted by ghosts and demons in their vlogs to get more views on YouTube. It's kind of hilarious. And I've only just started to see these. It's like a new trend that's popping up. A lot of vloggers are doing it. They'll just pretend like they're in the movie Paranormal Activity, basically. Like they're being haunted. I've seen uh, Lance Stewart do it, Logan Paul, Rice Gum, Jake Paul. It's so weird because usually vloggers will like accentuate certain aspects of their life and maybe make things that aren't necessarily true but are at least based in reality. But this is the first time I've seen people just literally make up something completely outlandish for views that like is not even a little bit based in reality. They're just like, they're literally just making up stories and presenting them as if they're real. Okay, so the first person I noticed doing this was Lance Stewart. Uh, he used to be a Viner. He would always pull pranks on his grandma. You might remember his face, or probably more accurately, you probably remember the sound of his grandma screaming at him. Yeah, yeah. Cover your mouth next time, you asshole. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. But if you've never seen him before, Lance Stewart is basically the real life version of Randall from Recess. He's a daily vlogger now. He uploads every day, I think, and his vlogs are always like 25 minutes long. And I guess he has trouble filling that much time, so he just makes things up and puts them in his vlog. The first time I saw this video was in, I think it was in H3H3's podcast because they were talking about it. If I just, if you just search Lance Stewart ghost on YouTube, you'll see um, how much he's milking this idea. He's made probably 700 videos about ghosts. So this is the one that I saw in the H3 podcast. It's called The Demon Dragged Me Out of My Bed and then in parentheses, Real Paranormal Activity. So keep in mind that he is trying to pass this off as something that actually happened. It's not like a tongue-in-cheek, oh, look at us vloggers. This is like, he's actually trying to make you believe this. It's currently 1 a.m., and I told you guys yesterday when I ended the video that I was gonna be recording myself tonight when I go to sleep to see what happens, because yesterday, some crazy stuff actually did go down when I went to sleep, so I wanted to see if something would happen again tonight when I fell asleep. So I'm about to prop my camera up right now and see if anything does happen. Okay, so he prefaces the video by saying some crazy stuff happened last night. Well, he was asleep and and I haven't watched the vlog from the day before because um, I don't like his videos but I'm not really sure what happened the night before that is prompting him to put his camera up while he sleeps. I'm pretty sure that all of this stuff started happening in his vlog because he played with a Ouija board. So all of this paranormal stuff started happening because he was talking to demons through an Ouija board. Is it a Ouija board or is it and a Ouija board. I don't know. Now he's got the camera set up in his room. The lights in his room are clearly still on because you can see him. There's a, he also added scary music into the background of this. It has become a trope in this genre of YouTube. Everybody adds in their own scary music to their own vlogs, which is hilarious to me for some reason. Like, if this was really happening and if you were genuinely terrified, would you be like, would you edit this and then be like, no, nope, still not scary enough. Needs, <laughs> needs horror music. Okay, so now the time on the clock is 3, about 3.30. Um, he started recording at 1. Just an interesting side note, the cameras that vloggers use, or at least most vloggers, and I assume Lance 210 use, all have a record limit of 30 minutes. So if he really was recording this and went to sleep, the camera would have stopped recording after 30 minutes. So you can tell, really, he just went to sleep and probably recorded for 10 minutes and then sped it up to look like maybe it was longer. And also, his girlfriend just doesn't move for the entire time that they're asleep. But now it's 3.30 and it's slowed down, so I'm assuming something's going to happen. I like how his girlfriend starts screaming right away. Like, her initial reaction isn't like, babe, why are you on the floor? It's the middle of the night. She immediately sees Lance on the floor and just starts screaming. So the, the most important takeaway from this is that you can see the editing that he did to make it look like he was getting dragged off the bed. If you look at the lotion bottle, you can see how it was clearly some manipulated in some way, cut here, and then it snaps back into place after he leaves the frame. So basically they had to cut part of it out probably because there was a rope or somebody in it and so they just replaced it with a still image, but they did a bad job of lining it up. Bro, take the bro, take the bro, what the f***? Bro, what the f***? Bro, what the f***? Bro, what the f***? 
In terms of things like that demons could be doing to you, dragging you out of bed's like not the worst. I could see you getting mad if it like got you into a car accident or something and you will never walk again. But um, I don't know. Getting dragged out of bed isn't the worst thing that you could possibly do. That's about the amount of inconvenience of like my dog waking me up in the middle of the night. Okay, so that was like an emotional roller coaster and that was like the main beef of the vlog. That was the main meat of the vlog. And that was one minute and 30 seconds of action, and the rest of Lance's vlog is uh, 21 minutes and 30 seconds long. So we get to watch another about, about 20 minutes of him just talking about it now, I think. Guys, so it is currently the next morning, and I don't know. I don't know what to do. So Lance talked about it for a while, and then decided to call like a priest to get an exorcism or something. And he's trying to call him, and it seems like the ghost has gotten rid of his phone connection and made it so he can't cry out for help. It didn't get rid of his Wi-Fi though, obviously, because he was able to upload this video, which is interesting to me. The ghost has the ability to like make it so he can't make phone calls, but somehow Lance could still upload this YouTube video, and he's been uploading consistently daily for like, like if you didn't want Lance to be able to contact anybody about this, you probably should have prevented him from uploading this video to his 3.4 million subscribers on YouTube, maybe. Okay, so that one was pretty crazy, um, but it gets way crazier. Because about a week after he uploaded that video, he uploaded another video called I Was Possessed, and then in parentheses, actual footage. Another thing that people tend to do when they upload videos like this is put a title, and then in parentheses, they try to convince you that it's real. The other one was uh, Demon Dragged Me Out of Bed, Real Paranormal Activity, and this one is I Was Possessed, Actual Footage. So he's really, really hoping that you'll believe that this is true. And he's just staring at the TV. Lance. Lance, what's the matter? Lance. In my mind, I would like to imagine that this is the absolute scariest thing that Lance Stewart could come up with. Is he, him sitting in bed with his shirt off, staring angrily into the camera. Lance. 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 This exchange of uh, her yelling Lance and him staring into the camera lasts for about three minutes. Come on, go back to sleep. Shut up! That's how demons talk. Demons are very easily aggravated, and if you keep telling them to go back to sleep, they will tell you to shut up, okay? A demon is not afraid to tell you to shut up. And now Lance starts doing something that we all know demons do. He starts banging his head against a pillow. Stop. Now. And then he starts scratching his wall. I like that he's scratching his wall barely enough to make a scratching sound, but not so much that he'll damage his wall. Demons are real sticklers for interior decorating, and they really don't want to mess up your paint. Stop. Now. Uh-oh. Get out of him. Leave Lance alone. Shut up, you I kind of think Lance wrote this just so he could like yell at his girlfriend and have an excuse to yell at his girlfriend. It's just a little weird how into that part he gets. Like he pretty much phones it in for the rest of it, but when it's time to yell shut the fuck up bitch at his girlfriend, he's like there. So let's go ahead and check out some of the comments on this video because I'm really curious to see what uh, other people actually think of this. It has a shocking amount of likes. 100,000 likes and only 27,000 dislikes. That's like a really good ratio for something that's so obviously fake. Someone said, I'm possessed by a demon but I can still edit and post my videos on time. This is the most boring possession I've seen in my life and I'm a priest. Boring? Uh, I don't think the guy saw the part where he scratched the wall and hit his head on the pillow. I have a theory. At the beginning, Lance says, break it, and then starts hitting one part of the wall. Maybe there's something in the wall the ghost wants, like so Lance can see. I kind of feel bad for this person because they're, they actually think it's real, but they're being helpful. Like, they want to help Lance. They don't get that it's not real, and they're actually concerned about him. That's probably the worst part about this is that, like, kids actually think that this is real and think that this is something that can happen in real life. Cool boy says Lance should go to church and stop saying bad words like if you agree. Everybody knows that you only can get possessed if you say bad words. So I would agree with cool boy on this one. So I think my biggest takeaway from Lance's videos is that the best way to act like you're possessed is just to sit in bed and just stare angrily at somebody. Danny, can you walk the dog? Danny. Like I'm kind of busy right now so I need you to take out the dog. I just... I don't know why you're looking at me like that, Danny. <laughs>
<laughs> Danny, there's nothing up there. <laughs> if you were possessed right now, that would be the dumbest ghost I've ever met. And I've met a lot of ghosts. This isn't gonna get you out of walking the dog. Ooh, spooky, isn't it? Oh, Peanut loves it. <laughs> I know it's weird that we've only been married for like two weeks. That's no excuse for you to start acting crazy. Like, I don't know. <gasps> what? Daniel, if I play along, I pretend there's a ghost in you. Oh, I'm scared. Come on. Can you just pretend? Oh. Just pretend. For like five minutes, okay. Go ahead. Oh my god. Danny, what's he grabbing? It's probably a, a knife. A wall knife. <laughs> <laughs> So Lance isn't the only person that's been doing this style of video. Uh, Logan Paul made a video very similar called uh, Real Ghost Caught on Camera Not Clickbait. He's using the same formula where he says something paranormal happened to him and then promises you that it's real. Quick warning before we watch this Logan Paul video. Uh, watching a Logan Paul vlog can feel a bit like getting yelled at for 20 minutes. Um, so if you're sensitive to that sort of thing, you might want to pause the video now. I'm freaking the f Fuck out, bro! I'm about to elaborate with my viewers why why I think it's 100% real. Okay, so apparently uh, Lo or Logan's friend, I think, posted a video and Logan is watching it back right now and realized that there's a ghost in the background. Now he's uh, freaking out and FaceTiming his friend who's naked and wet for some reason and they're gonna tell us about this ghost that they saw. So I'm gonna show you the clip from his vlog first and then we'll dive into the actual file itself. This is from his vlog. I'm only gonna show you a little bit because that's all that's necessary, but check it out. What is that right there, that, that place? Dude, there's a cat, there's a cat right there, there's a cat. Did you see that? Oh, there's a cat, there's a cat. Right there, what the f Holy sh <laughs> All right, I think we're amping it up a little bit, a little bit too much. Logan, it's just a, it's just like smoke that passes by. Even if it is, I mean, even if it was a ghost, would you really be that excited? Do, have you ever met anybody that excited about anything in real life? Holy! Ugh. Ugh. All right, we're gonna take this frame by frame. Right here, we see the ghost approaching. Right, it passes through, like very clear. It almost like jumps through space a little bit. You see the ghost like form. You see it form again when George's flashlight is finished cutting through it. Oh. To me, this is it is so clear. That it is a person. But Cue the spooky music that uh, everybody wants to put in their videos for some reason. But what makes this stand out for me and for me to say this is a ghost? This fucking hand. This is a hand, son. What kind of ghost is that? What is that the outline of? What did this person look like in real life before they turned into a ghost? What? That's not a very spooky shape. I've seen spookier shapes, definitely. They could have just made it up. I mean, it's so dark, they could have just outlined a scarier shape. Right here. Is this music from Halloween Town? What is this? Is this Nightmare Before Christmas? What is this? I wouldn't have thought this was scary if it weren't for the music, honestly. So the rest of the video is basically just him freaking out about the ghost that he saw. I think that like the real problem with these videos is that the vloggers already had like a tendency to exaggerate their lives and make them seem way more interesting. And I think that's harmful to like kids because nobody's life is this interesting. And I feel like they're setting a standard for people that's just like not able to be met. Like nobody can have a life this exciting because this kind of, it, you can't, it just doesn't exist. And, but they make it seem like their life is this exciting. And now they're going and throwing ghosts in the mix? Like, first kids are gonna be let down because they're not gonna have this life and now they have to worry about ghosts? Anyway, so that's the end of that video. What is that? Hello? <gasps> a Ouija board! Okay. If it's one thing I learned from YouTube videos, it's never, ever use a Ouija board. Unless you want millions of views and millions of dollars. Let's do it. Are there any spirits here? Why? That must mean yes. Okay, spirit, what is your name? Whoa, it's moving, it's moving. Lenny. This is a really specific Ouija board. Oh, it's moving again, it's moving. Who's it? Yeah, I guess it is pretty specific. Oh. Okay, Spirit, what do you want from me? Are you Lenny? Yep. Why are you haunting me? 
I really like your videos. I just wanted to know if you wanted to collab. What? Uh, well, I'm a YouTuber. I do lifestyle videos, life hacks, stuff like that. I've been trying to get my channel more subs for a while now. I've actually been haunting Lance Stewart and Logan Paul. Wait, that was you? In their vlogs? Yeah, well, I, I've been trying to get them to collab with me, but they keep putting me in their videos without shouting me out. Oh. Um, well, I'm, I'm not really looking for a ghost to collaborate with right now. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No! I'm gonna go haunt Jake Paul. Alright, man, good luck. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Shout out to LPS Cutie TV. Thank you for turning on my notifications. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.